Hi, Hello. this is Ron from POC Culture. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Absolutely. So anything Star Wars related, we always have to start with two questions. What would be your personal lightsaber color and who's your favorite uh, Star Wars character? Okay. Well, my personal color would probably be blue. Uh, and then my favorite, uh, man, I, I, I got to go. I don't actually you know what I, I, I'd probably say R2D2. Oh, well, I love it. Now you worked at ILM and you got to work on the prequels. How does it feel to finally be your own Star Wars universe character? It's just amazing and a dream come true. I mean, like Star Wars shaped who I am and who I was and who I am. I mean, literally, I went to ILM because I wanted to work on Star Wars. So that was my first job coming out of college. And I got to work on the prequels. Secretly, I wanted to be in front of the camera as well be, to be memorializing. I got part of the credits, but I also got to be like a digital extra. Like you'll see me like waving a flag in Naboo somewhere. But, uh, but now, full, come full circle, I got to be part of the Star Wars uh, world as a character. So uh, it's, it's, it's an honor. I hope we get a chance to see more of you in the future. Now, what was it about the story of the Ninth Jedi and Ethan as a character that really grabbed you? Um, well, I mean, what grabbed me was just definitely the idea of Star Wars. You had me at Star Wars, and then when you say anime, that was just blew my mind. But something about Ethan, definitely that innocence and that wonderment of, of, of trying to figure out who you are, that identity crisis, and then to, and then to learn you know, that you still have a long way to go. You know? it's, it's just that belief. And, and the idea of holding a lightsaber, I think that's a huge thing. And, you know, it's like, I think any, any fan always dreamed about that moment and to be able to experience that virtually is, even though virtually was a, was a really fun thing to do. Yeah, that's something I think all fans are so excited about. And then it was a big theme in the story, which I thought was very resonant. Now, no spoilers if you know anything else, but in your mind, where does Ethan go from here? Where would you like to see Ethan's character, you know, develop in the universe? Uh, I would like to see Ethan's character, you know, get his master and you know grow even stronger as a Jedi and go through go through his own journey you know and hopefully you know team up with Kara and then you know and then save the world somehow right that's right now you are an Asian American actor who's been doing this for a while and I've loved seeing you in things like Heroes and Hawaii Five-0 um do you, on a larger scale do you feel like opportunities for Asian American actors are improving both in front of and behind the camera Absolutely, I think it's a. Uh, I, I I think it's it's definitely changed from when I when I first started, and it's and the great thing is not just gratuitous or just you know affirmative action. I think there's real genuine interest in the talent and the stories now, uh, and I that comes from people behind the scenes as well. But uh, it's it, I think it's great. It's a great time to you know be in this industry because things are starting to open up. I don't want to go into like back in my days, blah, 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 blah. But yeah, back in my days, it was, it was very, we had long duck dong and you know, short round and that's about it. That's right. Um, and thankfully, thanks to you, uh, you know, uh, a lot of the kids had, had your character. So I appreciate mm -hmm. that. And it's a stepping stone, you know, we, and we have Simu now, you know, it's like, it's just great. When, when, when would you ever thought you would see an Asian American suit, a Marvel superhero? So I think it's steps on steps on steps and stuff. We still have ways to go, but it's great to be opening the doors for the next generation, Jack generation. Absolutely. Now, so much of Star Wars is inspired by Japanese culture. So to your point, like, it's so awesome to finally get this Star Wars project with so many Asian voices. Like, what was so special about being part of this project from that perspective? And what did you want to bring to the story? Yeah, I, I love the fact that it's, authentic, you know, it's authenticity and be able to have, you know, work with all these amazing Asian American actors and Asian actors. But for me, you know, just the idea of giving back to the, going back to the Japanese community that started with it, you know, the Kurosawa films, you know, that inspired Star Wars. And the Star Wars inspired so many anime creators in Japan. And to give, have that give and take and that connection of different cultures, different worlds, and that creativity can connect us all. I think this is just a beautiful message. And, uh, and you know, I always say like, you know, the individual imagination is, is limited. You know, it has bounds, but when you do these collaborations, you know, it has infinite possibilities. And I think Star Wars Vision showed that. I totally agree. Well, thank you so much. I really enjoyed The Ninth Jedi. I love all your work. And, you know, I look forward to seeing more of you in the Star Wars universe. I appreciate it. Thank you, Ron. Take care.